Hey guys, welcome to Undertale. Now, I wasn't planning to do this game because, well, a lot of people are doing this game. But I noticed that almost all of them are doing pacifist runs, which is going through and not really killing all the enemies. Now, if you don't know anything about this game, you don't have to kill a single enemy. But you can if you want to. And since so few people seem to be doing genocide runs, Killing everything, you know, traditional RPG style. Figured that's what I would go do. Like I said, I've been watching a few other. Well, I don't know if I actually said that, but I've watched a few other people be playing this game. Well, Stopped watching after a certain point because I knew I wanted to play it for myself. But I have a feeling it's going to be way different doing a genocide run and a pacifist run. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the Flower! Hmm... You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul! The very culmination of your being! Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What's love stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through... Little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? You brain dead? Run into the bullets. The friendliness pellets. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die. <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such... Torturing. Torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Yay, I made a friend. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Oh, and just so you know... Just you know, I've already been told. To make progress here. You will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press C to read signs. It says. Wait. Stay on the path. Is well, for whatever. Hmm. Oh man. Which one do I go with? No, no, you want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. <clears throat> Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. A 
as a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. I'll talk to it. Talk to it with my fist. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. They're for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. Well, you know, I kind of don't, but... I'm really curious what a genocide run is going to be like. It actually does stand for love, okay. This is the puzzle part. Here, take my hand for a moment. Now, I already know that once you do a genocide run, there's no going back. You have to go into the game's data and delete some files if you want to do a pacifist run ever. Because it, you know, remembers it. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Give me for this. No. pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. Test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? I feel like in a pacifist run there's a frog here who tells you that you can... No. Get through the game without killing a single monster. Take a scanny. Alright, take one. People have been comparing this game to Earthbound, which... Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular. Which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? No, they're both great, but I gotta say... Well, cinnamon if it's paired with something, but if they're on their own, butterscotch. Hello? This is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Three out of four gray rocks recommend pushing. Okay.
Oh, pushing it this way don't seem to do nothing. Uh, let's try this. Uh, well, I'm out of ideas. a lot of HP. that I know where to go in. Partner, who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Alright, you jerk. You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Yeah, yeah, things are easier when you just ask, I guess. reading it wrong. Some great music. Um, you don't know you can't kill ghosts, right? You're sort of incorporeal and all that. It's just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry, I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. <laughs> 
Lost an experience point. Oh, I'm loving this game already. Hell yeah. Chug, let me guess. Spider Cider. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so for those of you who have never played Earthbound, first of all, you're missing out. Ribbit, ribbit. My friend never listens to me. Remember, I'm talking. They skip through my words by pressing X. Yep, me too. I heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now that when a monster wears a yellow name, you can spare it. It's bad. I guess that's a way you can make things harder just for fun if you do the fast whisper. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things just lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Say hello? Well then. Hello? I hope that suffices. <laughs> Only one switch, okay. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. Four doors and an exit. Marks rotation and perspective. Alright, blue, green, red. Blue switch, no problem. I wish I'd paid the extra, like, five bucks or whatever for the soundtrack. This is really good. Oh, I'm just bursting full of art on. This is Toria. Want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Which one's the red switch? Oh, 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 oh. 
go away. So those of you who've never played Earthbound, like I said, you're missing out. This is the first game I've played in a long while that kind of feels vaguely like it. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. What did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? No, but a lot of monsters are. There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. She's so sweet and nice and just... Good, and I'm about to murder her, aren't I? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I don't want to kill her. But we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Hmm. It's me! Earthbound is a game that's so super cute and adorable. It also has some kind of darker undertones. It's very, very creative. Hello there, little one. Pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap? Not just yet. You'd rather stay up and chat with me, then? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. Mm. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This becomes a surprise to you. I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go home, please? What? This... this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure, tell me all about it. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Well, I've got to admit, I've never heard that fact before. Yeah, that's fascinating. Bother me if you need anything else. so super creative with just... It never does exactly what you expect it to do. It's always pulling something or other. Like... I mean, I guess I shouldn't worry too much about spoiling an 18... 18, that doesn't sound right. Holy crap, that game's... I don't remember its exact release date, but it's gotta be about 20 years old. Oh, so 18 actually wasn't all that far off, I guess. I have to do something. Stay here. What is going on with your face? Wait up. Okay, without spoiling too much, in the first, like, f ten minutes, you meet a new party member. And he gets killed, right off the bat. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Oh, she didn't pick up the phone. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. Come, 
they leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Escor will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hm. We're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Alright, let's go. the whole little health thing we've also got going on here. So it's like Earthbound combined with... Uh, well, considering how much I'm loving the music, I'm gonna say Tomo. Holy crap! <sighs> you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Escor. Do not let Escor take your soul. This plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? Apparently not. My child. Well, that's it for this part. I'll see you guys in the next one for more fun and happiness. Uh, if you're not watching anybody doing a pacifist run or playing the game and doing it yourself, I do recommend it. Because that was painful.